Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Telf Later Mouse. In this video we purposely removed a great portion of the lead from these 22 bullets in order to see what effect it will have on its accuracy and uh, stability. Now we know this will make the bullets less effective in almost every aspect, but how bad will it actually be? Let's find out. As expected, the bullet is kind of flying through the air like a poorly thrown football. Now surprisingly, the accuracy wasn't terrible or anything. This was only at about 7 yards or so, and that's mostly because we wanted to get a tight shot with the high-speed camera. At seven yards, Danny should be able to hit a, let's say, a dime-sized target, you know, about the size of your thumbnail or so, consistently, but you could see that this one was uh, much more inaccurate than the first shot. And of course, at further ranges, the inaccuracy would just be compounded. Now with this shot, Instead of going low like the last shot, this one just went really high. So we're having a lot of uh, inconsistency here. But at least Danny's able to hit these relatively small targets. Things are very quiet. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Okay, yeah. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Wow! Now the day before Danny and I were filming it was 102 here and this day it was 85 degrees and really comfortable but the problem was it was really windy. We'd get these gusts of winds coming up and oh man nothing is worse than that wind noise. And that always makes it a little challenging when I'm editing these videos to kind of stifle that out and maybe put a little music or something over the top of it. <laughs> but yeah, it's... It's all puffed up. Is it hot? It's hot. Now one thing I've noticed in the comment section is when we don't shoot the lead plate, people notice. So Danny made this custom uh, solid gold plated uh, lead plate here. <laughs> and that 22 bullet actually burrowed into that plate pretty deeply. I thought it would just leave a little pock mark. Okay, dummy, quit shaking the camera around. There we go. <laughs> now up to this point, I've been running the high-speed camera at 8,800 frames per second. So I started cranking it up a little bit. Hard drive, thank you. Rifle choke. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> when you increase the frame rate of the camera, the uh, exposure goes down quite a bit, and also the resolution goes down. So it's harder and harder to get really good imagery the faster you go. This is one of the rare chances I get a, a second chance to take another take with the high-speed camera usually it's all one take and that's all we get right but uh, the Sun was a little brighter in this shot and Danny's shot was a little better and hit more of the meat and potatoes of the little hard drive okay last target a ceramic mug I'm ready Hey! That would have made a funny sound. There's a metallic tank. Now in this shot, I increased the frame rate of the Kronos to over 14,000 frames a second. And this was also the very last unbalanced bullet to test out. So luckily he hit it. He just barely clipped the side of it. 
This is kind of a weird target because it had about an inch of ballistic gel on the bottom and then the rest of it was filled with water. Anyway, a while back a viewer had asked me to fill up a container with ballistic gel then shoot it and see what would happen. And this was, you know, this is obviously just kind of a half half ass attempt at doing that. But we'll I'll, I'll eventually do it, trust me. Now this video was inspired by an Australian channel called FPS Outback who has a really good video of him doing this with even weirder modified bullets. I'll put a link in the description and a card so be sure to check it out. And speaking of Australians, it's with great sadness to have to tell you that Ed Jones who ran the channel Aussie 50 has passed away. Without getting into too many details about what happened, I don't really know exactly what happened and what was going through his mind but he decided it was his time to check out of this world but Ed you will be missed and you were an inspiration to many of us and I wish I could have told you that anyway I hope you enjoyed the video I didn't mean to bum you out but I felt that Ed's life was worth celebrating and remembering